what's up everybody um i got a question or actually let me tell you what's going on so uh recently i've been i've been with sprint for about seven years and uh i've enjoyed all this time with my android phones the first phone that i got was back in 2009 i got the um the htc hero fantastic phone it got really slow real quick that i moved up to the evo 4g I love that phone, fantastic phone as well. And then I moved up from that phone to the Evo 4G LTE. And that's the last phone that I had up until about a couple of days ago. Um, always had HTC phones. And uh, I didn't really like the Samsung phones too much. You know, they were real plasticky and they felt like toys or whatever. And uh, I like the build quality of the HTC, so I never really got in with those. But um, I decided, you know, after seeing that the Note 4 and that uh, Samsung Alpha that came out, they started using them aluminum, they started using aluminum construction. So I decided I was gonna switch it up this time and uh, utilize some of these features that Samsung phones come with. You know, I thought it was real nice, to, you know, how the Samsung phones have all these wonderful features and stuff. You know, just to switch it up a little bit. So I got the Note 4. Um, for those who don't know, you can get the $200 cash back from uh, Samsung if you had ordered before October the 16th. So I took advantage of that, and uh, so I got the phone. Now, little did I know that this phone was, uh, well, okay, the phone, Sprint, has now this new network, uh, Spark. Okay, so yeah, also, I'm a Sprint customer. I'm not, I don't use anybody else. Um, Sprint has this network now that they just bought out uh, maybe a year ago. It first came out on the, 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 uh, the S4. That was the first phone to utilize the Spark network. And for what I understand, it's like a tri-band network. It uses um, the 2500 LTE band, the 1900 LTE band, and the 1900 CDMA. And so, uh, that's what this Note is using. So I called Samsung this morning, you know, to find out. Okay, let me tell you what the issue is. The issue in this video, so the issue that I'm having with this phone, and I am having an issue. I think the phone's fantastic. It's a great phone. I love it. The issue I'm having is that it will not, uh, when you make a phone call, the phone will no longer stream data. So you know how you might be on the phone and your text messages will come through or, or you, you can update your, your Facebook or update whatever or, you know, update your map or do anything that you do. You know, you might you might do a YouTube video and have that uploading to YouTube and then make a phone call and have all that going in the background. Um, some people play YouTube videos while on the phone or whatever. Or you might be streaming some music while talking on the phone or anything like that. Well, no longer is that happening right now. That That's, for some strange reason, Sprint. Oh, shit. Okay. For some reason, Sprint. Uh, with this spark network has disabled that feature and I don't know if this is permanent or if this is temporary um, I talked to a store representative today on the phone they told me that you know the, the, the I'm down in Georgia so they said that the uh, the spark the sprint spark network is not up and running yet in Georgia so but anyway the question is is anybody else having this issue if you've had the uh, the s4 or the s5 or the HTC One M8, or now the Note 4, or any of these new phones since the S4, um, have do you have this issue as well, where you're on the Spark network, or any network? Now, okay, well, from what I understand, if you're on Wi-Fi, then you don't have an issue. You can do Wi-Fi and talk, no problem. But if you're out and about and you're on the, the Spark network for some strange reason, it's not allowing. Uh, you to talk you know like be fully active in a phone call you know phone is going and uh, stream data at the same time see what happens is on my phone soon as like I could be doing anything on the internet as soon as the phone call starts ringing through everything internet based shuts down all of it stops and it does not resume until I disconnect the call so for instance if I'm on the, like I was on the phone this morning with Sprint several times and as soon as I hung up the phone with Sprint, like 20 notifications come through all at once. Like nothing was coming through during the call. As soon as I hang up the phone, that's when 
data transmitted and now all the call the the notifications are coming through um, so anyway this is also a solution video I don't like throwing problems out there what I found is that um, since Sprint is doing the spark thing and it's supposed to be faster data or more reliable data I have noticed that you know the data is really reliable I mean it's faster on average I'm not gonna say it's faster period it's, it just seems like it's faster on average you know like depending on where I am I'm a truck driver so I could be anywhere at any time and it just seems like everywhere I am the data speeds are the same which is uh, about average speeds I'll say about a uh, five up maybe five down something like that you know it's just average speeds nothing 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 tremendous um, anyway the workaround that I found is that you can use a voice over IP apps the one that I'm using is the uh, the Google dialer basically if you have a Google voice number you can download the Google dialer I mean the hangout dialer to your hangout your uh, and then basically you can call anybody with that thing and it's basically a voice over IP app for hangout just like you know with uh, hangout you can do video calls and stuff like that now you can dial through Google hangout any number I don't know about international but you can dial any uh, national number and it works pretty good and it's a, it's a regular call you can call anyone with the Google Hangout the, the dialer and while you're talking to someone you know it works with the Bluetooth and everything while you're talking you can also continue to stream your data so that's one workaround that I found to do voice and data simultaneously um, on this spark network through Sprint and uh, Obviously, you can also do Skype calls. You can do, um, what's the other one? Uh, Magic Jack. If you can get the Magic Jack, app, Magic Jack app, you can do that. And like I said, the Google, there's any voice over IP dialer or something like that, you can make calls. But uh, for some strange reason, voice and data on the Spark is not working. So uh, if anybody else is having this issue, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> I always want to say that. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Y'all can hit me up on Twitter at Adante Macon. That's at A-D-O-N-T-E-M-A-C-O-N on Twitter. And uh, let me know if y'all having this problem as well. And if you found any workarounds, is if anybody knows if if Sprint is actually going to fix this, is it a problem nationwide? I mean, what's going on? Because personally, I can't live like this. You know, I can't. I just can't live like this. And that's one of my major complaints. I'm really upset because I came from the HTC Evo 4G LTE with no issues streaming talking talking streaming non-stop all day every day no issues and now to this hot phone man this phone is fantastic i love this phone this this note 4 is just beautiful it's like a gem in my hand man it's just glistening and shining and it's just fantastic but it's got a sore spot with this sprint spark where i can't do data and voice and that's the most retarded absolutely most retarded thing I've ever heard in my life I mean these are smartphones it should be able to do everything and then some I should be picking up features on top of features on top of features not having to sacrifice the most vital feature period I think that is absolutely vital to be able to stream data while in a call because a lot of, like I said a lot of times man you, you might be on a phone call somebody asks you a question and what do you do you're like oh well, let me look at that let me look that up and so you grab your phone guess what on this spark network with my phone you ask me a question, I'm like, oh, let me, let me look that up real quick. If I have to refresh anything, if it's not already, like, on the phone, if I have to pull data from the network, you're done. It's not happening. If, if say, for instance, you know, you're on the phone, and, oh, my God, you got GPS going, and you miss your turn. Well, guess what? It's not going to refresh. It's just not. The Google Maps has to use data to refresh the directions. I mean, everything must refresh. And in order to refresh, you got to have data. So, the only way to have it refresh, apparently, is to kill the call and allow the phone to do what it does. So, I'm, I'm really pissed about that. Is that an issue with uh, Verizon? Verizon people, you guys got your phone the other day. Are you having this issue? What about AT&T? What about T-Mobile? U.S. Cellular? Is anybody else having this issue with the uh, with these um, Note 4s? Anyway, I'm about to run out of time. Ten minutes. Yo, this is the Note 4, by the way. This picture and picture... This is hot. I mean, look at that. Y'all see the trucks out there? You know, I'm right here in the corner. Trucks are out there. This is the hottest thing ever. All right, y'all. Be good. I'm out. Hit me up in the comment section. I'm out. Bye. Peace.